Hello, this is Mr. Howard, and we're back for a second semester. We want to go over some of our discipline expectations for you all this semester. So we're going to do this. I mean, this is for you as well as your parents to view. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely come to the front office, talk to one of the administrators, and we'll be happy to um, talk to you about that. Now, of course, you know that we are a PBIS school, and our acronym is ACES. That is being accountable, considerate, enthusiastic, and safe, okay? So again, accountable, considerate, enthusiastic, and safe. And so everybody that is displaying your ACES behaviors, we want you to be able to get those rewards. So of course, in your classrooms, your teachers can't reward you with a behavior form. That is simply writing on the form what behaviors you are exhibiting in the classroom. So, your teachers are gonna be teaching you what some of those behaviors look like in the classroom. But for example, positive behaviors in the classroom could be assisting another student, turning in your work on time, um, providing assistance to the teacher, um, commenting and doing things that they're asking you to do throughout the class period. So make sure that you are on time for class, that you are staying focused during the whole class period, and that you're exhibiting positive behaviors because we want everyone to receive a positive behavior referral. Now, what does that look like on the bus ramp? Of course, the buses have been late coming to school as well as leaving school. So we expect you to be on your best behavior when you're waiting on your bus. That means not horse playing outside, not running around, um, hitting others, pulling on the trees, things of that nature. Waiting for your bus, um, providing assistance for your uh, peers. All of those will be positive behaviors that you can do on the bus ramp. As far as in the comments area, picking up behind yourself. Again, you are high school students. You should not have to have anyone come to tell you to pick up your tray to put things in the trash. So make sure you're putting your uh, belongings, in your not your belongings, but your trays in the trash after you eat. Um, also any drinks or any other trash. If you see some trash left on the table, pick that up. This is your school. You want to make sure that you are making your school appealing to others that are coming in. We have visitors all the time. So make sure that you are always considerate about your environment and thinking about um, others that may be coming into the building. And so the media center, making sure that you are exhibiting those positive behaviors in the media center, that could be helping out with Ms. Howard uh, and Ms. Smith or Mr. Phillips, um, making sure that you are exhibiting those behaviors while you're in the media center, not disrupting other students, um, just anything like that, picking up trash, all of those things could be um, ACES behavior in the media center. Now, what are we doing for us in centers? As you saw last semester, we had our behavior forms, which I've already talked about. The sweets for seven, where you were able to come and get those sweets, candy, or some type of sweet treat during lunch for having passed all seven of your classes. Leader of the pack, of course, you get that nice um, yard sign that you get to put in your yard. You also get a t-shirt and some other good prizes and breakfast that morning. So make sure that you are exhibiting those behaviors in the classroom so your teachers will uh, nominate you for leader of the pack as well as give you a behavior form. Student perfect attendance. Of course, every month we're pulling three names for those students that have exhibited perfect attendance for that month and then you can win $25 cash. $25 cash. And you don't have to do anything but come to school every day, okay? And the prize wheel. So we have the prize wheel, okay? First semester, you didn't get to spend the prize wheel. Second semester, you will spend the prize wheel. So those students that have received a positive behavior form will be eligible to spend the wheel for uh, a prize off of the prize wheel. So we do have that as well as this year is going to be our inaugural uh, Mr. and Miss Wolfpack, okay? So we're doing that during basketball homecoming. Now, we've traditionally never had a basketball homecoming. This year, we're going to have our first basketball homecoming, and we need you all to participate. So if you would like to be Mr. or Miss Wolfpack, we have a fundraiser going on right now. 
See Ms. Russell, she has the details. You log on to scoreboard, you get people to follow you and you also have, you send out your uh, link and people are able to uh, donate money. And the person, the two people that win the most money or raise the most money, the female and male that win, raise the most money will be named Mr. and Ms. Wolfpack, okay? So again, we need you to participate in that. So we have all of those incentives and we want you to be our Mr. or Miss Wolfpack. So that would be our ACES program and make sure that while you're in class that you are pointing out or helping other students to exhibit those behaviors as well. Hi, my name is Mr. F, one of your assistant principals, and here just to talk to you briefly about our level four COVID protocols and procedures. Uh, obviously our goal right now is to keep everyone safe and healthy uh, and make sure that we are all um, working together to protect our environment together and make sure that we have the opportunity to stay in school and stay uh, in face-to-face -face learning. So one of the things, obviously, masks must be worn at all times in the building when possible, um, especially in particular when social distancing is not allowed. Uh, we need to have those masks on. The proper way to wear your mask is to make sure that you have it on both ears and it should cover your nose and your mouth. So I've seen some students have them down below their nose like this, or when you go to talk, you pull your mask down. Let's make sure that we keep that mask up above the nose and, and covering the mouth as well, okay? The proper way to wear that. So the only time we are not supposed to be wearing those masks is when we're eating or drinking, um, when we're allowed to pull those masks off. We wanna make sure that you wash your hands regularly and make sure that you sanitize. So anytime you're walking through the building, you see on the hallways, on the wall, there are sanitized stations where you can get some sanitizer um, throughout the commons area. And then if you go to the bathroom, obviously we're asking you to wash your hands. Um, it's always been said to sing the happy birthday song twice while you're washing your hands. Make sure you soap them up really good and wash all the soap off. Uh, the last thing we want to uh, make sure that we talk about is just social distancing. So whenever possible, walking through the hallways, um, when you're sitting somewhere, do your best to social distance. Try to keep a good five to six feet uh, from other students or teachers at that point, and that will help uh, mitigate uh, the possible spread of any type of illnesses that we might encounter here at school. Greetings Wolfpack. My name is Dr. Williams and I'm one of the assistant principals and today I want to talk with you all first about the tardy trackers and getting to classes on time. So as you know, it's very, very important to be on time to class, ready to work every day. However, we have uh, potentially seen several students still out in the hallway after the bell has rang. Please remember that each time you are late to class, you will have to sign the tardy tracker. And that's for each class. And after you accumulate four of those, then an office referral will be submitted for you. So it's very, very important that you are in your classes on time and you're talking and walking and getting to your classes prior to the bell ringing. Additionally, we will be setting up hallway sweeps. So those things are gonna be something that will be unannounced. But with the hallway sweeps, sweeps, designated times throughout the day after that tardy bell has rang, if you are out in the hallway, you're gonna be taken from that hallway, brought to the commons where you're going to, again, be given a step on that tardy tracker. And if you've accumulated four of those trackers on the tardy tracker, then there's gonna be a discipline referral for you. With the hallway sweeps, in order for you to be allowed access into your classes, you're going to have to take that tardy tracker to your teacher, and that will be your pass to get into the class. Hallway and restroom passes, please make sure that we are adhering to the 2020 rule. You will be given a yellow emergency pass this semester for those times that you have to go to the restroom outside of the 2020 rule. But we want to make sure that you're, when you're in the hallways, you have a pass to go to the restroom each and every time. DoorDash and Uber Eats and any other thing that is bringing food here to the school, we cannot accept those. If, a, if you order Uber Eats or DoorDash to school, we will be sending those DoorDash and Uber Eats people back to their cars and you're, you won't be allowed to eat your food. And then a disciplinary referral will be submitted for that because we have to make sure that we are keeping our schools safe and secure. We cannot have outside visitors 
bringing food to you all at school during school hours. The next thing that I want to discuss is disrespect to adults in our building. As you know, part of our ACES behavior is being considerate. So we want to make sure that we're considerate to everyone in the building at all times of the day. We have to make sure that if we're, if you're asked something by the an adult in the building that there's no attitude with it, there's no back talk, there's no rolling of the eyes. We want to make sure that we, we all have that positive relationship amongst everyone. So again, if you need any assistance, definitely reach out to any of us and we want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful Wolfpack, Wolfpack year. year.